all and welcome to Stingray Tom's Florida and day one of the Florida Adventure Series. Let's see what the object for today is. This should be obvious. It's a bird feather, of course. It's pink, since it represents a native Florida bird that limits it to three species, the flamingo, scarlet ibis, and roseate spoonbill. Interestingly, all three are somewhat related to each other, and all three get their coloring from the same source. But I'll get that out in a moment. This feather is from the spoonbill. It's a medium-sized bird related to the ibis, and is common in much of southern coastal Florida. It can be found occasionally in northern Florida, but most of the time they limit themselves from the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge and Kennedy Space Center along the Atlantic coast, south to the Everglades, and along the Gulf Coast to Tampa Bay. They're a wading bird like egrets and herons, and use mangrove islands for nesting habitat making nests several feet above the high water mark to keep predators such as raccoons, otters, and alligators at a distance. Spoonbills prefer mostly fresh water for foraging, though they can feed in salt water as well. Unlike egrets and herons, which hunt by striking fish or other small prey with a pointed beak, they forage by sweeping their long bill back and forth in shallow water. This allows them to collect tiny crustaceans, insects, mollusks, frogs, newts, and very small fish in their bill. While it's described as being spoon-shaped, the tip of the bill ends in a rounded and flat paddle shape. While the bill is remarkably effective for the species, it wouldn't be useful for eating soup. The flat shape helps the spoonbill sift easily through mud, and the method allows the bird to find and eat food that few other birds look for. Another note about the bill. Chicks don't have a spoon-shaped bill when they hatch. After the first week, the bill starts to flatten, and after two weeks, it begins to take on the paddle shape. About a month later, it takes on the adult bird appearance in both its bill shape and mature feathers. Spoonbills get their pink color from some of the foods they eat. Crustaceans and other aquatic invertebrates contain pigments called carotenoids that help turn the feathers pink. This is the same way that flamingos and scarlet ibis get their red or pink coloring as well. Due to their bill, the roseate spoonbill is one of the more unusual looking birds native to Florida and is one of the most popular birds with locals and visitors alike. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode of Florida's Adventure Series 2023.